Not a bad episode, but I'm actually wishing that they had just decided to make this a double-length episode instead of a genuine two-part episode, because... This cliffhanger isn't really much of a cliffhanger with the results that we were given. Now, it is designed in hindsight to try and put the um, outsider in the position to make a change, and almost all the time, as we have seen in past seasons of this show and on Big Brother, if you watch Big Brother, if people have the opportunity to really make a move, Almost always, they're going to. Uh, yeah, there are a few times where the uh, dare or potential opportunity is not to take in one instance and go I land one instance and Big Brother Canada free, but... Oh, and Celebrity Big Brother won. There was also a situation like that, but... um. In this present situation, it probably will happen. Like, there's a 90% probability, if you ask me. Uh, that's not to say that Erica isn't going to genuinely think about it. She has to, uh, because... There is the con of, if she, if she switches things, that does save herself and the per other person that's the easy boot from her old tribe in this current situation because people don't really know what to think of Heather, but Heather is a very easy vote to gobble up even though no one really um mentioned her, even when it was just the five losers back at the old blue camp. But then it puts the four people on her previous tribe that she had a little, keyword being a little working with, on the chopping block. Now, most of them were targeting her any way, but there was still all kinds of things going on because, I mean, like, Danny and that um, other guy, Desh Sean, maybe? I still don't have the names memorized for um, everybody because I'm only thinking about this show now when I'm actually watching it and making the video, which is what I do immediately after finishing it and reading Dalton Ross's articles, because I don't really have time to even listen to Rob Sesternino's stuff now, so unless something really gets to me now, yeah, that's gonna be rough. Hopefully I'll be able to find time to get more of Rob Sesternino's stuff out of the way later, though, because him and Dalton Ross are the only Survivor stuff that I really um, read now, what? even though... I know for a fact that Parv and Steven Fishback do do episode recaps, which I think are interesting. Based on the one time that I sampled each one of them, right? Um, okay, now I've totally lost my train of thought here, so let's just rewind the tape. Um, Ricard and Shan get back from Tribal Council, and then there's still the argument about the um, extra vote or not, but as someone who knew that they'd most likely be budging in this episode, that's made the argument um, redundant, and sure enough, they did merge, So, which truly makes the argument redundant, because they'll just keep going at this time and time again. Now, Ricard does bring up the interesting argument to Shan that... If she had just came up to him in a normal fashion and done it, he probably would have given it to her. And I think that he's right, because again, last week he was the only person that I was able to correctly read. But that didn't happen, yeah. Hmm. Then the Yellow Tribe, um, admitting that Xander is really unclueless to his situation, we already knew that. This guy is in a load of hurt. There's no way he's going to really be able to get any real traction, unless it's with members of the Blue Tribe, but given how willing they are to cannibalize each other, which is perfectly understandable. Yeah. I mean, like, it would have been nice to see Blue go to Tribal Council, but I guess it did kind of reach a point where it would have been better for this season as a whole if they went all the way to this episode without going to Tribal, or if... They had um, eliminated this 5-5-2 five, five, in the middle and instead done 6-6 six, six because Dalton Ross actually stated that what he would have done in this situation was just make everyone that wasn't blue compete against blue. And that's what I was kind of hoping for 
honestly, yeah, that would have eliminated the, um twist in the middle, which is the main theme of this episode, but at the same time, uh, he, he, while he's arguing that this is one step too far, I don't really know if it is, because there's all kinds of 50-50s decisions going on here. Yes, it is, as I said, designed to try to get the outsider out, but that doesn't necessarily have to happen, uh, because what if Erica had been replaced with Danny? Yeah. Uh, Huh? I'm willing to bet that it had been either Nasir or Danny going to exile Island because it would be more appropriate to send them to the island that had Edge of Extinction on it, even though I'm actually reasonably certain that Blue was on that, unless that happens to be the island that has like that odd extra bitch shown further out, which seems to crop up in almost every reality season that's set in Fiji. Unless I'm totally remembering the, the layouts of previous seasons done in Fiji, Ron, eh? Because I know that Australian Survivor filmed a couple seasons there at least, even though I haven't watched them yet. Right. But anyways, it had it been either of those two guys, totally different situation. And there are genuine benefits to leaving it as it is. Uh, as a, again, absolutely, most people would change it, and I really would be shocked if Erica didn't, but I don't really know if this is exactly too far, and there's just so many 50-50s. Which tribe wins in the 5 vs. 5? Who gets sent to exile? Are they going to smash it or not? It, 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 hmm? I do genuinely think there are enough instances where it might not have happened. Yeah, there's... Just enough randomness to it that I'm okay for now. What? And again, we've had half of this group never go to tribal council before. So there's still a lot of newness to this. Yeah. And this does help us get a better read on Erica. Because, again, it did seem like that she was on the outs, but Nasir could have done something to, um, really screw himself. Especially if Blue had lost that, um, last challenge. And it could have happened. It could have. But, I guess they just decided that we've got a thing going and, hmm? And, uh, even though this has never been stated, there are all advantages to never going to the, uh... I mean, two tribal council before the merge. Historically, that doesn't generally work if it's a uh, large group of people, Marquesas and Philippines, but... Hmm. Right. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Anything else I can really mention? Oh, yeah, there was no mention of any more idol clues, so... Say part of that shared immunity idol gets used is going to be really interesting to see what they do. Again, those two prevailing theories, just start the freeway a bit again, or dis discount it all, put in a new idol, and then it's back to normal. I'm really interested in seeing if this is going to be the new norm. Um, Shan, um, spilling, um... Uh, Damn it, they mentioned her name multiple times in this episode. The black chick from the Yellow Tribe's Advantage to Tiffany. Uh, that is likely to um, get her in the water, but at the same time, she did admit that she, as a pastor, she tries to have an open heart, even though in this game it's more complicated. Mm -hmm. But that is reckless. I, I'll give her that. And then I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with Sydney because if this flip, Erica decides to flip it, which again, I bet she will, I honestly would be willing to bet that she's most likely to go. Now I know what you're thinking, now C or is in that other group. Group, well, he does have the idol and most people know that he has it. So that's very different because he's got the argument the, uh, there's the argument of he has power, but then if it's obvious, it's not as powerful, but is it too obvious? Huh? Yeah, I really would not be too surprised if she's the um, target here. Yeah, we'll see, won't we? 
So I know that a lot of this has been a speculation to me repeating myself, but if it's a Pog 1 of a Pog 2, then of course that's what I'm going to be thinking. They almost always do this in this kind of an issue, yeah. Though, as I said, again, this would have been better if it was just a double-length episode. See ya.